Let's take a look at this one. In my beginning collector, Time Capsules Playlist. It's kind of interesting going back through this old stuff. Some of which I've reacquired because I might have forgotten that I owned it to begin with. I see some holiday items. It's going to be the tea bucket. Love that tea bucket casting. What's this? Hot Wheels Frisbee. Man, come on. Why did I buy that? This thing? Actually, that Frisbee is kind of cool. Might look good hanging from a wall. I have no idea where I got this, what this is from. It's some type of foam VW bus. It's not foam, it's like a plastic. No idea. Why? 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 Why did I buy this? Might be interesting to set up on a display wall, but I don't know. For now, it's going to get set to the side. Here we got Cyber Racers. As a matter of fact, Cyber Racers, this might be the one where Atorium debuted. I'm not positive, but Atorium, if you've seen him, he's never, never been in the singles. And he was in one of these type of packages. I don't know if this was it. Let's see. Uh, $12.99. It was a little game on the bottom of the car. You know Tamagotchi? Tamagotchi was hot at the time. So Hot Wheels came up with something, or Yamagotchi, something like that. Came up with this little thing to where you have a little game that you play. You can tune up your car, repair, race, score, win. Yeah. I bought it just because I wanted the uh, number 44 Kyle Petty car. Probably could have let that one go. Take a look at the Frisbee. Should know what casting that is, right? That's a classic Hot Wheels casting from the 90s. This was copyright 1995. Yep, that's the Purple Passion right there. Pretty cool. Kind of like having this in the package, actually. I don't know how much it originally was. I don't see a price. An or original, original Frisbee disc. Interesting. Here you go, teed off. As a matter of fact, teed off is going to get a sequel in 2015 if you're watching this now. If you're watching this later, there's another version of teed off coming out. Here we have the tattoo machine. Tattoos for you and tattoos on the car. I've already bought the whole series. I should do a video. I have all the cars. So here I have an extra of this one. This one's called Lightning Storm. This is actually a basic Hot Wheels. Flame Runner. It's called Flame Runner. And then I don't know why they called it Lightning Storm. I guess something special for the tattoo series. You know they do that all the time. Change the names of the cars for who knows why. Wow, I didn't even know I had these uh, vintage. These are 25th anniversary re-release. I believe it's 25th. That would be uh, 93. See, look, 92. Copyright at 1992. So these are reissues. You see this peg hook? This is a reissue. The original red line, they had a hole right here where they got hung on a peg, not a peg hook. So if you see these and you think, oh man, I got an original red line because it's got the red stripe wheels. No, you see the hole in the center of the wheel? You see the hole in the middle? Sorry, I, I can't block that light right now. You see the hole in the middle of the wheel? That's a modern red line. That's not an original red line. Original red lines look like this, this kind of package. Red line tires, we got buttons that we get to hook on ourselves. But uh, this is a reissue. Now, if you enjoy having these in your collection, that's fantastic. Uh, but they're not original red lines. I should say the names of the cars real quick. Here's a 55 Nomad. This, I believe, is Silhouette. Is Silhouette on the list? Yeah, Silhouette. I know I'm going to get in trouble and call one of these wrong. Hey, Twin Mill. I know we got fans of the Twin Mill. Not Beatnik Bandit. Mm -mm -mm. What's your name? Beatnik Bandit. Nope. Mm-mm. Pine Star. Nope. I can't think of this guy's name. How do you want to split an image? I don't remember his name. How embarrassing. What kind of collector race screws? I thought you knew everything. Sorry, it's just too many cars. I, I can't remember every name, every car. I just can't. Sorry. Split an image. 
There you go. I believe that's split an image. You guys got to know him. Diora, the original Diora. Python or demon. On this one, they called it the demon. Nice purple color. Snake and mongoose. I wonder how these do on the downhill racing. These basic wheels, these kind of basic wheels, they don't do very good in downhill racing. That's my, uh, that's my recollection. Here's a nice set. $19.99. By the way, you're going to see plastic connectors. I don't know where they're available anymore. I don't even know if those guys are in business. This is what the uh, Mustang Mach 1 in 1998 was supposed to look like. Came out like that. But when it first came out, it was this bright orange. These were pretty tough to find. At the time, there was a Dodge Sidewinder that had that color. Maybe they just used some leftover paint and painted up this orange. You're going to call it you're going to hear it called the Orange Mach 1 when people are talking about collectibles. That's the Orange Mach 1. And here's the regular version. And you can find one with five whole wheels. That's a little more, a lot more easy to find than this, but still much more rare than the regular issue here. Now, as far as this Mustang here, one has a red interior. You already see that. And there's a third variation too. I thought there was a third variation. Maybe... It, I don't remember what the third variation was, but that's that. I don't do the wheel variations no more. Hey, I got another one of these. It was in my other box. 57 Chevy it used to be a big casting. A lot of collectors really like to collect it. it. In my opinion, it seems to have fallen out of favor, but that's just my impression. Here we have Scorch and Scooter, one of my favorite Hot Wheels motorcycle models to collect, Scorch and Scooter. I like this one because he has a Santa and a reindeer and a Scorch and Scooter. like that one. I'll go ahead and stick with the holiday items. The tea bucket, one of my collectors. I've talked about having focus. Tea buckets. I decided to collect all the tea bucket variations. So I have a lot of tea bucket variations. I don't necessarily buy every one now. I used to have every one open and every one loose. Every variation. Here we have the uh, action pack, the JPL Sojourner. Mars Rover, pretty cool pack. Especially with me being in Southern California, JPL is up in Pasadena. So it's kind of a little bit of a home pride right there. I've done video reviews on this one for sure. And eventually I'll do all the packs as well. Then we have the snow plowers. He's, snow plowers gone. I mean, uh, Big Chill. I think that's his name, Big Chill. And this one here, wow, a long time. I don't even know. Long, that one hasn't been in the assortment for a long time. Big Chill got final run, I think, in early 2000. So he's gone as well. Got to have this one. Man, if you were a 90s kid or a fan of 90s television, you have the Home Improvement TV show with Tim Allen. So this casting here only been released in this package. That's the only way you're going to get that casting. Get yourself a little Tim Allen figure there's this tool chest arr, arr, arr. and of course the 33 ford convertible very nice as well uh what was his buddy's name i don't know he was he was the smart guy i don't know if it says his name they call the name of the uh, car the dixie chopper tim taylor was his name i know that i don't remember his name he i don't remember his name he was the smart guy right there and uh, oh it's open this, this glue didn't uh, withstand the heat. I think that's a Mercedes and they're really nice. I like those Ultra Hot wheels. Very cool. Citibank. I'll have to put that in my Stone and Gold collection. Hey, Partridge family. Yeah, this is fantastic. Love that car. If you're going to get Johnny Lightning cars, this is one of the ones that you're going to want to go back and acquire. That one right there. I'm going to let you scan this real quick. I'm not going to read it. I know some of you want to know. I have, I do have the monkeys, but it's not going to be in this in this box. Back to the Future, not in this box. Starts again, Hutch. Mm. As a matter of fact, I think I got all of these. Somewhere, I have a, a separate container for Johnny Lightning. Southern Cal. Oh, I got to get that box. I got to go to the other box. There was a piece of paper in there. Uh, here we have... Oh, it's over there. 
I'll save this for, I'll, I'll get this, I'll save this at the end. I gotta go get something in another container. It's very important. This one's all right. This one was not popular, but then for me, it's like, oh, you gotta have it all. And if you're gonna get it, you gotta get it on a nice mint card where it's all nice, everything. Look at the corners. This one a little bit, but very nice. But, you know, come on, not exactly popular castings. Final run. These were, uh, these, I did not buy every final run. But these were the ones that were fantastic to own, in my opinion. Final run means that uh, this was it. On top, you see, all tools were destroyed. I actually owned a tool. I've never told you guys, but I actually bought at auction half the tool. It was cut in half. I got a big piece of metal down in the shop. I'll have to show you sometime. Special tires, exclusive decoration. Last production run. They can never reissue this because they made a commitment, uh, final run, to never run it again. So, of course, they could always tool them up and uh, change them a little bit. And it'd be a new casting, right? But uh, this one, Mercedes 540K, went out in style. Beautiful car. Tanker truck. Got nice six real rider tires. Gold hubs. Gold, gold, gold. Yeah, he went out in style. And this one, I love this casting. You got the Stutz Black, Stutz, Stutz Black Hawk. Yeah, look, look at that. Classy man, just fantastic. White wall tires. Mm -mm. Yeah, I got that one loose too. Oh, Range Rover. Mm, I went ahead and got it. Like the tires, and so I went ahead and bought that one. Let's see. Someday I'm gonna have to do a video on all the final runs, but I don't. They change the packaging afterwards, so I, I don't have all of them. Besides, some of the castings are. They should you just let them go instead of putting them in the final run. Here you have the Kenworth. T600A, fantastic. Now, it did not get rubber tires, but it has special tampos. Look on the tires, it says final run on the tires. So that's pretty good. That's kind of neat to have in the collection. And I told you, I love the uh, this, these types of cars. I love white walls. This one, mm, sad to see it go. Oh, as a matter of fact, this is the tooling that I own. I got half the tool, it was cut in half, and I bought it at auction. This is a car that makes up that uh, tool. They were making this car. And they actually cut the tool in half with the car still in there. So I'll have to, I'll have to show you that in a separate video. Uh, let's see. Is this one I did a video on before? I'm not sure. Police force. Armor truck no longer has the opening back like that. It's sealed off. So if, it can be an affordable pack to pick up if you want to get that. And this police car is very nice. It doesn't have a... Uh, push bar and a light bar. It's got a little teeny tiny light bar sticking up, but it's still a nice casting. Action pack construction. Got a cement mixer on the right and on the left, excavator. Haven't seen these in a long time. I don't even know. I can't think of... They kind of set, they sent that stuff over to Matchbox now that Mattel owns Matchbox. So now they kind of keep that stuff over in the Matchbox line. Let's see. KB Toys. We had to... I think we had to buy like five or ten dollars worth of stuff i don't remember how much and then we got to buy these for ten dollars so here's series four i don't remember what's in each one hopefully no uh, silver bug comes crawling out of here they love cardboard here you got surf crate he's still around as a matter of fact with surf crate back back in back then surf crate you can pull out the surfboard see put it right back in and yeah this one's zamac no paint just has a clear coat I think I'm going to put this here and I'll do that later. Just has a clear coat so that it doesn't tarnish. And then it has a tampo right there. Let's see. That was number four. Here's number four, series four. I don't remember why they had two different boxes. I don't remember that at all. Or maybe they had, oh, series four. Series four. So maybe they have different ones. I forgot. 33 Roadster. Got one in Zamac and one with Flames. Let's see, what was the price? $7.99 for a two-pack. So maybe they had us, uh, I got another story about this. Yeah, that's another day. But anyways, um, maybe they just gave up and just let us buy them because they weren't selling. I don't know. Series 3. What do we have in Series 3? The Phaeton. This, this one was the release in 2012, 2013. I know it's still around. has a removable roof. There's a Zamac version. And a hot version with flames. Series 2. 
Oh, yes. This one's sweet. Chrome. You got the 63 T-Board and the 59 Impala. Let me kind of show it on the side. Very nice. Chrome. The Impala looks good with the gold wheels. They both have gold wheels. Love that 63 T-Bird. Metal body, metal base on that T-Bird. I don't think the Impala, I think, had a plastic base. I'm not sure. Series 1. There you go. This one was cool because, look, you got two pins to go with it. That's very nice. So that's the Sweet 16. Is that Sweet 16? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think that's the name of the car. Sweet 16. The original Sweet 16. You see the red line tires? So it's a throwback to the early red lines where you got pins in the package with the original red line card and was that this box so it's a throwback to this red line wheels red line wheels and you had the, you had the pin to clip on your shirt this one these are lapel pins but with a push pin in the back you clip it to your shirt through the front yeah this is kind of i like this casting but 7.99 i 7.99 is kind of cool because you got two pins to go with it but as far as the other ones, if you get two cars and it's $7.99, I don't know. Here's the alternate version. Came with blue. Now, I, I let me get a piece of paper real quick out of a tub. In an upcoming tub, I had this paper. I printed out, uh, look, it was some type of mailer. Cal State University, Long Beach. Look, they talk about the Solar Eagle. So if you want to pause that. I'm glad I saved this, so this way you get to see this. I did keep a couple of copies. Nope, I got this is different. Nope, same thing. So anyways, if you want, you can pause that and you can read it. Kind of cool to look back at a uh, piece of history. And that's what the uh, this uh, Solar Eagle was available in the singles. It's the exact same one. The Dodge Caravan. Look, it's like a little uh, assistant for the people when they're doing the races. But the caravan is exclusive to the set. I already said I love to collect the caravan. This one, it was already a reissue, but I think I bought this more for the van. But if you just want Solar Eagle, it was available in the singles. They show one in a single pack. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead. And if you want to check out another tub, I'll give a link for the other tubs. There'll be a playlist link. And I think I'll have a a uh, list for the tub right there so you can go and order uh, if not the information's in the description thanks for watching bye bye